Tammy and today I'm making a video on how to hold your hamster. Uh, to do this you have to have already tamed him or you have to make sure that he can take a treat from your hand or walk over your hands without him trying to bite you. Um, so all you'll be needing for this is some towels, a pillow, your hamster, and a ball. Now you don't have to have the cap to it. Um, you can if your cage is a long distance away from your tub. But you really don't need a, tap, um, a top. So yeah, guys, let's start. To move your hamster from your cage, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to put the ball down right by them. And they will walk into the ball. Come on, Henry. Henry. He will walk into the ball. And then you just carry this from your room where you have your cage to the tub. And then you just put it back down and let him hop on out. Um, and then now let's move on to step, step two. Step two, you're just going to want to cup your hands around him. And you just want to do it calmly just so he gets t used to it. Um, just cup him and let him hold, let him stay in your hands. And then if he tries to jump out, just try again calmly. Now pull him closer to you once you have him in a cup and start letting him walk on your hands just like this. As you see, she's being really calm and she's making sure that you don't go too fast. Also, when he walks, don't be scared because, I mean, the worst he can do is bite you. And yes, that can hurt at some times, but most of the time... So the next way is the more advanced way, and this is the way once you've got the cupping method down. You're, what you're going to do is first get him into an area where you can see him. And then the method is you put your hand over him and grab him by the belly. Just make sure you put your other hand under him once you pull it up. So just like this, and then let him walk. And then you have it, and he will be able to walk on your hands. Now just make sure you're not scared because they can tell if you're, if you're scared because they, they, for some reason, yeah, they can just tell if you're scared. So just don't be scared because they're not that harmful. Also, once they get tired of this, immediately put them back into their cage because they will be, they will be grumpy and they will not cooperate just like right now so what we're going to do is put him back into the ball and then put the cap on if you brought it and then just bring him back downstairs so now i'm just going to give you some tips on holding him so this is the main one i've said this many times don't be afraid he's not going to do much also it's best to have a couple of treats there and always remember, once you put him back, give him his favorite treat because of all of his hard work. Remember, part of it's on him, too. He's very nervous. So when he's walking into your hands, he might be a little bit slow at first when you're walking, just to make sure. Now, when he, when he puts his face down to your hand, he's not trying to bite you. He's actually smelling you, which is kind of like a dog. So, um... Yeah, guys, I'm sorry this video was really short. That was because I am, I am in a rush because I didn't make this video this morning like I usually do. So I was rushing this afternoon to get it out for you guys. So, yeah, thank you. Bye.